Hello everyone. Welcome back to Data Wave Interview Question Series. In this video, we are going to talk about the below interview questions. Okay. First, try to understand the problem before going to solve. What is the first question here? Separate odd and even numbers. Okay. With the object. See, they were expecting, so this is an array. They were expecting odd numbers. You have to print it like this. And even numbers, you have to print like this. Okay, this is one question. And another question is, there is an array inside. We have multiple objects here, wherever the company name, right? Okay, Capgemini is there. We need to update with Accenture. Okay, we need to update with Accenture. These are the two interview questions we are going to discuss. Okay. So in order to solve the problem, so what we need to do, just you can go to Google and type data wave playground. Okay, what is the input they have given? Just copy paste or else you can type it here. Okay, this is the payload, correct. So if you print payload, you will get the all the values, but our requirement is odd and even numbers, you have to separate it like this. Then See, it's very simple. First, you can create attributes called even numbers. And one more for odd numbers. Okay. So here, even numbers. How to identify even numbers? You know already. Okay. In the same series, okay, In the same series, we have already created video. We have already created a video. How to identify even numbers and odd numbers in the data wave interview questions. But this question is different. We need to segregate or separate into different attributes, okay. That's very simple, payload filter, item and index, okay, automatically it will come. So here, open the braces, item, mod two, mod two, equal to equal to zero, equal to equal to zero. Okay, let me remove this. See, you can able to see odd numbers here. So how it is going to work? See, first it will read the number two. It will multiply, sorry, it will divide by two. Two one ja, two. See, what is the reminder here? See, if you do divide, so this is called mod in computer language, okay? You can take any language. Not only data wave, you can go with C, C++, Python, okay, whatever it is. The quotient part, we are going to call it as by, okay. So this one, so this one you have to remember. See, sometimes this operator may work or may not work. So that is the reason we are using mod, okay. Now, next time, what it will read, okay, seven. Two, three, the six. What is the reminder value? One. So this condition, it won't get satisfied. Correct. So this is odd number. Now again, it will check three, 16. 
five, something like this. Okay. See the same logic. So what you can do, you can copy paste or else you can type here. Okay, odd numbers. Payload. Filter. Open the braces. Item mod. Two of equal to equal to one. See. Now we are getting whatever they are expected. Okay. That's it for this question. Next, we'll try to solve another question. See this, you can change it. I mean, first you want odd number, right? Okay. Odd or even. It's very simple. What you can do, just you can write this first. If that is the case. Odd and even number. Now, I'll take another data web playground. Update Capgemini with Accenture. Okay. So here, try to understand the problem first. So what we need to do? Just we need to update in the sense you need to replace it okay we do have a keyword called replace but replace will work only for an a string okay for a strings so what you need to do is what we need to do is Okay, this is the input, okay. Now, the same thing. So what you can do is payload. You need to iterate all the values, okay. All the values. See, type payload of map. Keep the flower braces that's it see it is automatically giving the objects but inside this what we need no need to replace the name value correct no need to replace name so name can use dollar dot dollar dot name okay the names are coming fine now here what is the company? Just try to understand the problem here. Dollar dot. If you give company, see, Capgemini only printing, but they were expecting, we need to update Capgemini with Accenture. That's very simple. After this, do replace so what you need to replace? What is the source string here? Capgemini with with Accenture. Capgemini with Accenture. So here you can use braces. Okay, dot dollar dot company is a capital letter yes replace let me see what is the string here is it correct okay what we have given Okay, there is a spelling mistake. So that is the reason it didn't get replaced. 
So we have given E, right? Okay. So while typing, there might be type of mistakes. So better always to copy paste. G M I. See here now, automatically it is updated. Automatically it is updated. So one question, you need to segregate odd numbers and even numbers. And there is an another question, we need to replace with the company name as Capgemini with Accenture. If you want to replace, you want to replace PCS, you can do that. See, whatever it is, you can do that. Not only Accenture. But before solving it, okay, try to understand the problem and you can apply whatever the functionality it is feasible for this, then first you have to think logically, then you have to apply the logic, that's it. Yeah, that's it for this video. I'll come up with another important data wave interview questions. We'll see in a, another video. Thanks for watching this. Happy learning.